Okay, guys. So, since I couldn't find any dollar bills, um, and I don't want to go to the ATM right now. It's late. I'm just going to add some coins to the first week because the first week calls for $2, okay? So, I'm just going to add the $2 in here in coins. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to film and <laughs> do this with one hand. So, I'm going to put... I'm going to add the coins here. Okay. And then later when I go to the ATM, I'll just replace it. And then once I get um, three weeks uh, to the third week, because it's $2, $3, $4, okay? But you can do this daily, guys. You can do, like, especially if you are a person who works and get tips or you work like um, doing Uber or DoorDash and stuff like that, where as um, soon as you're finished with your your delivery, um, you get instant deposit onto your card. You can just go to the local, you know, ATM, Walgreens, uh, Family Dollar, um, Circle K, and if you get up to I think ten dollars, you can uh, take ten dollars off of your card if you buy something and you have enough to take the $10 off, right? And then you can put and ask them for dollars, you know, get dollar bills. And then you can add to your savings plan, okay? Now, if you're doing a $100 bill, my tip or suggestion for you is to um, maybe do the $100 bill like for the first, you know, strip and then the rest, deposit your $100 in the bank, okay? and use dummy money, okay? Especially, you don't wanna leave a lot of money in this book, okay? So when I get to the point where I'm adding a lot of money in here, I'm gonna just deposit it into the bank, keep a track of it, and put an insert in here, like a fake dollar bill, or use Monopoly money or something like that. So this is a great way to go get Monopoly and use the money and go get you a Monopoly board and use the money, or just make your own little, you know, cut out a green, you know, green, carbon paper you know that the kids use and make fake money and just put the inserts in here and just write a hundred twenty dollars five dollars two dollars whatever if you don't want to keep all that money in your book okay and just keep going until you get to the end this book calls for 54 weeks okay and i did the math if you go by this challenge in this book you would have at the end of the challenge or the 54th week after adding all this up together, um, you would have $1,500, okay? So this is a great way to save $1,500 easily um, and just put, just slip the money in the little sleeves and then forget about it, okay? You just close it up and forget about it, all right? And yeah, so the challenge right now is you can do this using white envelopes okay you don't have to follow this challenge it's just that you just do what you want to do but if you want to follow the challenge that i'm doing i'm doing a hundred dollars uh every pay period so what every week would be fifty dollars right so when i get a hundred dollars i just ask them for two fifty dollars okay and then i put fifty dollars here the first week second week fifty dollars fifty dollars you know and just keep going on and on because i have um, like just say, for instance, this is January now in six months, I would have a half of $5,000, right? So that's perfect. If I have a goal of trying to have an emergency fund and using half of, of my savings to go have me a nice dinner, have a nice day or whatever, go to a comedy show, a concert or whatever, or just pamper myself for one day or two days, get a nice hotel, you know, rent a, a nice room at a nice hotel and just enjoy the weekend. I can do that. Or if I can, if I want, I can go fly out somewhere and visit someone, you know, that's just what I'm saying. Do what makes you happy. Do what, what makes you smile guys. I can even do this to help me with my goal of becoming a professional public speaker because that's what I talk about a lot because I am a coach and I'm coaching myself into 
this career as a public speaker. I am coaching myself into a career of being um, financially secure or independent or having uh, more freedom or have, and being able to travel or being able to start more businesses or focus on my tax business. You get what I'm saying? Or leveling up in my tax business or leveling up in this thing called public speaking, like putting in double time, going harder and saving money will help me reach my goal. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to have to be in rooms. I'm going to have to be face to face with multimillionaires who are doing this thing. I'm going to have to be paying for coaching with some of these professional successful people and I need money like I need to I need to save my coins to get to my next level to get to my to reach my goal and anything that you do guys it's going to take money when it comes to business like for real for real a lot of people can tell you yes they can start out with business with zero that's true. I'm for it depends on what it is, what what business that you want to start off with zero, right? But we know that in order to start a business, you're gonna have to be registered. Your name's gonna have to be registered. That's a fee. You're gonna have to make sure that um, you know, you your logo is right. That's a fee. If you don't want to do the things yourself, like nobody really wants to do things themselves all the time. Like I'm not. It's only me. I, I can't do everything by myself. I need a team. I need people to help me make this public speaking thing for real, like legit, like look professional. I got to pay these marketing people once I start really putting in the work to have my marketing right. I need to have a website with my face on it. My, you know, me standing there with my title of my name, my coaching business, you get what I'm saying? Or my public speaking business. So guys, when you're in business, you're going to have to invest in your business. You're going to have to invest in yourself. And why not start by making sure you're budgeting right, like, or saving the right way or just saving um, to get your goals accomplished. So that's what I'm doing. I'm saving to get my goals accomplished, accomplished guys. And if I have to do it this way to keep myself motivated and disciplined, I'm going to do it this way. So you always start off small and build momentum step by step by step until you get to the big the big step okay so on that note guys just keep going never give up never surrender do what makes you happy do what makes you smile and keep moving forward okay focus on your focus keep your dream alive i'm telling you keep your dream alive okay so we're on week 1 Starting Sunday, every Sunday, I will be putting something in here. Maybe every Friday. I don't know. But right now, every week, I'm going to stay on this trajectory, okay? So your week may start on a Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. Mine is going to start on either Sunday or Thursday or Friday, okay? So either way it goes, I'm going to have something in here before the week is over, before that next week is over, okay? So this is the first week. It is Jumpstart January, and today is the 7th, okay? All seven, no sixes, okay? You can even do a $7 challenge, guys, like for yourself. You can just, if if you're going to follow this with me every week, you can put $7 in here a week if you can't do 100, if you can't do 50, if you can't do 20, if you can't do 10, okay? Everyone is different and it's no, no judgment zone over here. Okay. Cause we, we in it to win it. Okay. We doing things to make our lives better, our family lives better, our children's lives better. We're doing it to get our goals accomplished. Okay. So on that note, peace and blessings.